Yes, it's been a long time, but we are back. It's been eight months since the game was officially announced Gamescom, but now we have much more information thanks to the specialized video game press who have visited the studio to experience everywhere firsthand. Now, I guess many of you are still confused by the Mind's Eye teaser that Barb showed a few weeks ago, but it's quite simple to explain, and that's what we're going to do in this video. Everywhere. 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 Imagine everywhere as a physical space. A space where you can meet with your friends, play races or PvP matches, visit museums, watch movies, go to concerts, or just chat while taking a walk. This is everywhere, but with a twist. You can also create any of those things yourself. If you feel like building a racetrack to race with your friends, you can do it. Everywhere will be full of games and places that you can experience as you please, and it will grow every day. Mind's Eye is one of those games within Everywhere, created by Build a Rocket Boy. But let's not talk about Mind's Eye yet. Welcome to Utropia, a new world. A place free of grief, from which to access all the activities and worlds that exist in Everywhere. As they mentioned in the Edge magazine, visually, it is a mix between a Roman forum with a touch of science fiction, a university campus with ivory towers, organic curves, and perfectly manicured grass. To create it, Barb has been inspired by Sid Mead, Adam Punk, comics from the 60s and 70s, and Tomorrowland, among many others. But once you are inside, you will find that Utropia is divided into four major districts. Combat, Racing, Entertainment, and The Collection. Combat District In the Combat District, we will find several rooms, each one for a different type of game mode. From the lobby, on giant screens on the walls, we can observe the matches of other players and decide to join the game just by approaching the screen. If a player creates a game mode that's entertaining enough, the developers will use one of the rooms in the combat district so that other players can discover it and join whenever they want. Regarding combat mechanics, we know that gameplay will be in the third person and that we will have double and triple jump. They've also been inspired by arena shooting games like Quake, so it seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Entertainment District in the Entertainment District, we will find nightclubs, discos, art galleries, DJs, cinemas, and it is precisely in one of these cinemas where we can initiate the Mind's Eye game. Through the cinema screen, we will start the game mode that will take us to this realistic world. The Collection Barb has described the Collection as a place where players can showcase and customize their characters and belongings although we don't have many more details about this yet. Racing District We don't really know much about the Racing District, but we assume that it will be something similar to the Combat one, but with races. Perhaps we can see world records on the screens and try to beat them, participate in different types of races with different cars, or even enter tournaments. In Build a Rocket Boy, there are members of the Driving Mechanics Department who have come not only from Rockstar, but also from Forza, Driver, or Need for Speed. So we shouldn't worry about the driving not being fun. Some journalists who have been able to see the game comment that the driving has an arcade, but satisfying and fun style, similar to that of GTA V. We also know that we will be able to customize our vehicles, not only visually, but also in terms of performance. Biomes outside of Utropia. Now we jump over the walls of the hub to tell you about the four biomes that surround Utropia. The grasslands, 
the forest, the canyon, and the lava. These areas, radically different from each other, will have a totally different concept from Eutropia, as here, players have total freedom to use their weapons and objects. So it's expected that we will encounter dozens of battles between players, races, etc. All these districts will also be full of secrets, so exploration will be very important. Arcadia. We have already mentioned that in everywhere you can create your own worlds, games, or experiences, but how exactly will you do this? The answer is Arcadia. A world creator developed by Build a Rocket Boy where you can create anything you want. Arcadia will give you the tools to develop your own ideas as you please. You can create your world by adding or removing objects, buildings, vehicles, lights, sounds, music, NPCs, special effects. But not only that, you can also plan events to create complex systems. For example, you can do something like when the character steps on this tile, a trapdoor will open in the ceiling. When the ceiling trapdoor opens, enemies will come out and attack the character. And add to that, when the character activates this lever, the enemies will explode. So you can create a video game or whatever you want by adding and adding these systems. These worlds you create are called arcs, and you can share them with whomever you want or keep them private. There's also something called stamps, which are nothing more than quote-unquote items created by players. You can exchange, sell, or buy stamps from other players. For example, if I create a complex giant robot enemy, I can export it as a stamp, and other players can use it in their own worlds. Something interesting about this is that Barb will make the elements used in Mind's Eye available for us to use in our own way in Arcadia. We could use one of these cars to create a chase mission, for example. Portals. Something I haven't mentioned yet, but that is of vital importance in everywhere, are the portals. As I said at the beginning of the video, you have to think of everywhere as a physical space where you can travel between different game modes without having to open menus. Let's imagine that you've created your own house. A beautiful mansion next to a waterfall overlooking the sea. You're there chatting with your friends, thinking about what you want to do today, and someone decides that they want to go car racing. Easy. You get up from the sofa and walk towards a blue door that you previously placed in your living room. As you cross it, in a matter of a second, you're already on a racetrack that you liked when you tried it last week. And you can do that with anything. If you like something, you can save it and place portals from wherever you want to wherever you want. This opens up a huge range of possibilities. You can, for example, create a choose-your-own-adventure game with different doors at the end of each level. Economy Now, according to the previews, everywhere will have two types of currency. Soft currency and hard currency. They haven't elaborated much on this, but we understand that the soft currency can be earned in the game simply by playing, and hard currency will be paid for. But don't worry, everywhere won't be pay to win, not at all. Any paid element in the game will be purely cosmetic. Leslie Benzies has said the following about this, quote, This whole thing will be monetized later. Initially, it will all work through soft currency. It's also worth mentioning that Everywhere won't have anything related to NFTs or cryptocurrencies. Build a Rocket Boy has been very clear about this. Clothing and Fashion Everywhere promises great customization in our clothing, accessories, hairstyles, etc. In the screenshots that Build a Rocket Boy has shared, we can see avatars dressed up as robots, helmets and glasses with futuristic or even cyberpunk styles, and even 90s sportswear and colorful hairstyles of all kinds. In this concept, we can see how the character creator will allow us not only to choose the type of hairstyle we want to wear, but also how to combine colors, gradients, etc., as well as marks on the face and probably also on the body. Music and soundtrack. Finally, let's talk about the music. Craig Connor, the audio director in Everywhere, 
has mentioned that more than 25 composers from around the world have participated in the project. Some of them are well-known names that have never composed for a video game. According to him, it's probably the largest soundtrack ever composed in gaming. And this last sentence is quite striking coming from someone who was in charge of the soundtrack for Grand Theft Auto V. Each biome will also have its own dynamic ambient sounds and music. If you're in the forest and shoot in the air, the birds will stop singing and they will fly far from you. If you're walking calmly but then suddenly you get into a fight against another player, the music will change to become more frantic. And if all this scares you because you're a streamer, don't worry. Craig Connor has confirmed that everywhere will include a streamer mode to avoid any copyright issues. Anyway, I know it's been a lot of information all at once, and there's still much I didn't have time to talk to you about. But, if you have any questions about Everywhere, join the official Everywhere server and we will personally try to answer them. The game is getting closer and closer, and we will have it on our hands on PC this very year, so the wait is almost over. This is EverywhereNet. Thank you for listening. See you very soon.